Well, hello there. So I'm going to make a market type bag, which could be used for a market bag or um, a storage bag of any kind, even um, laundry bag or taking it to um, a beach or whatever you like. It's going to be a meshy type. So I'm going to do it in my linky square stitch. And um, I'm using a 36 peg loom for the style I'm going to make. A 36 peg loom works good. If you use a different um, peg count, you'll just have to work it out so it's it's balanced. Okay, so using a 36 peg loom, what I've done is I've gone from the beginning, I've counted six, and then I've put three markers on. Then I've counted six, put three markers on, counted six, put three more markers on, counted six, and we're back to the main markers. So these are for handles. So if you were to change it for a different peg count, you'd go directly across and you might have an extra peg on this side and this side, or maybe even two on this side and one, depending um, how your loom divides up. And um, that's that will look just fine. You won't even notice it. I'm going to end here with the handle so that I can start the row. So I'm going to start knitting right here. So um, what else can I tell you? Well, this is from the Darius Loom set. It's the second one down. So any of the um, normal um, plastic round sets that you find in places, this is 36 pegs, three quarter inch gauge. Okay. The yarn I'm using is Noro Suido yarn. This is it, spelled T-S-U-I-D-O. And this color is color 68. It's a little um, sketchy where the color number is, but it is the one that is kind of a teal color. Okay, that has little white flecks. Okay, and the loom hook I'm using is from We Have a Handle on this. They no longer make these, so if you want one, um, you can wait till they start making them again, or you can get um, some on Etsy from Artismal Turnings. Um, they're very, very similar. Okay, and um, you'll want to have a tape measure so that you can measure. If you don't have a tape measure, oh gee, sorry, uh, something got twisted here. If you don't have a tape measure, you can just, um, whatever lengths you make the first one, you can find something to measure it with um, and mark how long that is, whether whatever it is that you have um, that you can use for a measure. And um, I'm just going to use this one here. Okay, so Let's get started. Now, oh, I forgot to tell you that this yarn is a wool yarn, 100% wool, but you don't have to use wool. You can use cotton. Um, this wool doesn't stretch much, so it's, it's like using cotton yarn, but it's a little bit stronger, I find. But um, cotton yarn works, any kind of cotton yarn you wanna make it in. Um, you can use acrylic too. Um, you can use anything that you like, actually, to make this bag. But I had a lot of the yarn, so I'm using it. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm not going to start here. I'm going to start at the next one over. And I'm going to make a slip knot. And I make them pretty easy. I just take it, take it. <laughs> now, of course, it won't do it. But I just take it, twist it, and put the loop through. I use this for swatches, so I have to do it a little different <laughs> to make it because the yarn is twisting on me. Because <laughs> uh, the one thing about wool yarn, when you bend it, it stays kind of bent for a bit before it straightens out, but it does relax. Okay, so I put the slip knot on here. I put the loom hook through the yarn, and I just scoop up a loop. And then I come over, and keeping it nice and tight, you can pull on this keeping it nice and tight. I just put it on and then I put the loop over like this and then I knit it off. 
and we are all cast on. Now at this point you can put a uh, piece of colored yarn and or a piece of different colored yarn and just kind of scoop it all under so it's there so it holds those stitches or you can put stitch markers in. I'm going to just leave it because there's only three stitches it should be easy for me to figure out how to put them on. Okay so now that this is on I'm just going to go over two pegs like this nice and loose and I'm just going to knit it over. I'm doing owl eye over this one like this and knit it over and I'm just going to keep doing that because this is going to make a tighter strap and that's what I want on the bag a tighter strap so just like this and just keep going okay so you're going to come to the end go over this peg and this peg keep it nice and loose and go over you're on this peg go over these two nice and loose keep it knit it over and back and you're just going to keep doing that. I'm going to do approximately 12 inches to get the length that I want. So as soon as I'm about 12 inches I'm going to measure it and I'm going to see if this comes over to here to make a nice handle on the side and if it needs to be longer then I'll do it longer and then I'll measure it and then I'll know exactly how long to do the other handle. Okay, so for now you're just going to keep doing the handle going back and forth until you get the length that you want. Just like that. And we can have a look at it and see what it looks like. And uh, that, that's it here. Coming here so it's going just to be a nice little handle. Okay, so just keep going doing that and we'll just do, um, we'll just go back and forth one more time while I'm paying attention to make sure I do all the stitches properly for you. <laughs> okay, so just keep going until you have it the length you want and we will catch up. So we will see you in a bit. Okay, so I've done this as long as I want it to be and I measured it and it's 13 inches and I, I like 13 inches. I think 13 inches will work fine. So all I'm going to do is put it on the loom right here. So all we have to do, I'm not going to put it on now, but that's going to show you. Okay, here, right here, we'll show you about how long that handle is going to be. I'll get my finger off it. That's about how long the handle will be. So if you want a longer, do it longer. Want a shorter handle? Do it uh, shorter. It'll be a handle like that. Okay. So I did 13 inches. I held it out like this and I measured from here to here. So that's the same thing I'll do. So I'm just going to leave it on and I'm going to cut yarn long enough to easily um, weave it in later so I just have to get a scissors so I'll be right back. Okay I got a scissors so I'm going to leave enough to um, be able to weave it in after. Okay and then all we're going to do is go over. It's going to attach here so we're going to start here for the next one. And we're going to do exactly the same thing, cast on and knit it the same length. So for me that's 13 inches. Okay, so we'll catch up after you've done that. Okay, so I've got my 13 inches on this one. So now, um, and we're on the wrong side, this is the wrong side of the stitches, which is where we're supposed to be, and we're just going to bend it and uh, put it on here. And how we're going to do that is we need to find three stitches. So um, the middle one's usually easy to find and you go under and you see two loops and then we're going to go a bit, there we go, to the side and look and find uh, close to two loops. This is where we cast on so it might be um, not quite like two. It might look a little tiny bit different and then um, find the two over here. And there they are. 
two stitches. So there we go. We got two here, two here, and two here. So I just uh, set it away. Don't twist it. Come over and just pop them on. And there we go. There's my three stitches on the loom. Okay. And uh, that will be the handle on that side. And on this side, we're going to do the same thing. Open it up till you find the stitches and put them on and we will catch up. Okay, so I'll just cut this yarn, same as I did on the other side, long enough to weave in later. And then we're just going to go over to the first peg and do the slip knot like that. and cast on. Okay, so remember you just tighten it like that, you put the working yarn in here, you scoop it up. And actually um, this would end up going together but I think I'm going to do something different instead of doing it that way, which you can, I'm going to just take the working yarn and slip it under this peg because uh, I'll have to weave in the end anyway. I just think it might make it look a little more even but you can do it any way you want. Okay and then I'm just gonna um, scoop it up to make a loop like that and put the working yarn through it and then pull this tight and go behind and uh, that can go just lay down here now and make sure everything's nice and tight tighten up everything and then I'm just going to uh, keep that tight <laughs> hold on to it tighten this up Okay, or you can do it the way I was first showing. It doesn't matter. I think if I can keep it tighter if I leave it here. There we go. And then I'm just going to go around all the pegs. And then that way we have some work in between here. And I think that will blend in better. Okay. But it's not going to make much of a difference which way you do it. And so I'm just going to keep doing the cast on. I want to have a nice edge so I'm doing it pretty snugly but not so snug that I can't knit it off and then we're going to come to here now when we're here um, yeah that's what I'm going to do I'm just going to put it over you could either put it on this peg and then just knit over or you can just put it here I think this might give the best look and then here we're just going to do a simple e-wrap so just e-wrap these that are already on because they're already cast on. This one's going to be loose because that's the one we're going to have to weave in and or you can knot it. Okay, so then we're just going to go under here. And remember this one's looser, so you're just going to keep that tight. Make your loop and we're going to continue to cast on all the way around the loom. Okay, now we come to the other handle. So again, I'm just going to put that over and then I'm going to do just a simple U-wrap here. Take all this over. Keeping this tight. And then scooping up to continue to cast on. All these little yarns all over the place. <laughs> but we are going to be sewing them in right away. Okay. 
And we just finish casting off all the way around the loom. Here we are at another handle. So same thing. So I think you know how to do it. So we'll catch up after you do the last one over here. Okay, now we're just going to do a row of U-wrap all the way around the, the loom, including over these pegs. Okay, and when you get to them, make sure that you keep pulling on the yarns that are dangling, keeping them tight when you, when you put it over. And we're just going to U-wrap all the way around the peg. Okay, so I'll meet you up when that is done. Okay, so I've gone all around the room, the, the loom. So now I'm just going to do a row of purl. So to do purl, I put the hook inside, scoop up the yarn, and then replace the loop like that. So into here, scoop it up, replace the yarn like that, and tighten. Scoop it up, replace the yarn. So I'm just going to go all the way around the loom. Okay, and we'll meet you up. Okay, so here I am, and now we're just going to do Owl Eye, and we're going to do six rows of Owl Eye. So now to start Owl Eye, we're going to go on the first peg, and only here where we're starting, we're going to come back over the first peg and go over the second like this. And then we're just going to keep going like this. Whatever peg you're on is peg one, over one and two, knit them over, keeping it nice and loose. Whatever peg you're on is peg one, going over one and two, and we're just going to do six rows going like this. So we will catch up after we've done our six rows, and then we'll finish off weaving in the ends. We should have enough work that we can weave in the ends of the handles and see how they look because they will no longer be stretched on the loom. So we will see you in a bit. Okay, so I've done the six owl eye rows, and here they are, and they're looking quite nice. Now we're ready to sew in. So what you want to do is pull down, and you're going to find the ones that you put on the pegs might be a little loose where you put them on, but you just uh, put a needle onto the yarn that you left here, and you slowly, um, before you do that, make sure you tighten the yarns that are here so it's as tight as it's going to be. And then you look and you go, um, is there a loose one? And right here, this one is too big. So all I'm going to do, and I'm on the good side so I can see what I'm doing. I'm just going to come up in here, the yarn, and just go over here. And not only will that close that up, it'll make it a little tighter. Okay, so now when you look at it, see? And that's all you need to do to make uh, it look really nice. So you go and look at them all. And if anywhere is too big, you just come up and do something like that. And uh, get it so it looks really, really good and looks like the rest of, of the bag. And uh, it'll be awesome. So that's all you have to do there. And then um, after you do that, huh, you just weave in the ends. And if you want to, you can knot it. Now i got to go back there and find where I was. Okay, so once you've done that, you can just uh, put it in, tie a knot, weave it in. But uh, I'm not finished. I'm going to look at it very carefully and see what I'm going to do. And um, that's all there is to it. And you do that on all the strings. But make sure you tighten them first because what had happened was um, some of them might have got a little loose when we were knitting around. So make sure you tighten them to see exactly what it looks like. And then there you go. You've got really, really nice straps. So I'm going to show you the next thing to do. And then I will um, put the rest in after. Okay. So what we're going to do now is this the linky square stitch for the main body. Okay. Now this is really really easy stitch i developed it oh it was the same month really it's one of my first stitches because they were owl eye twisty linky squares were all my first stitches so and i have a lot of patterns on ravelry if you want to look at more linky squares plus i have a stitch video on youtube okay so if uh, you want to look and see what it looks like in more things there you go and there'll be a link to my ravelry channel um, on my in the description 
Okay, so when you start Linky Squares, you just go to the first peg and just go behind it and just do an E-wrap. Okay, because we want to be sure that we have two stitches on the peg. Then we go behind two and knit them off, both off. Okay, now whatever peg you're on is peg zero. So you always go behind one and two and knit them. Okay, you're on peg zero. You go behind one and two in front and knit them. And that's all there is to it. You're on peg one. You go behind one and two and knit them. And you just keep going around and around the loom doing this stitch. Okay, you're on peg zero. You go behind one and two, knit them over, and just keep it pretty loose. You're on peg zero, behind one and two, and knit it. Very easy. You're on peg zero, behind one and two, and knit. Okay, and you're going to keep going doing that. And um, as you can see, it's coming in here now a lot looser up here. That's going to be our lacy stitch. So you just keep doing that and do that until you're just a few inches from how long you want your bag. And we'll come back and we'll do that finishing at the end of the bag. So have fun. It's going to be a really, really nice market bag, I think. I'm very excited making it. I hope you have just as much fun. And so we'll see you in a bit. Okay, so here I am. I've done all the rows except for the last couple inches that I'm going to do. And uh, here is where we did the 6 owl eye. What we're going to do at the bottom is 12 owl eye. Okay, so you do 12 rows of owl eye and then we will come back and finish off the bag. And uh, let's just have a look and see how it's doing first. Uh, the stitch is looking really, really lovely. has a nice stretch, but it's not too stretchy. And I, fi I fixed all the handles and they look really good. I didn't have to do very much. It's just sometimes you have a long stitch because you have to pull it over the pegs. It looks all really good. The handles look nice. There they are to uh, carry the bag. And uh, it looks nice even on the inside. But there you go. We're almost done. All you do now is your 12 rows of owl eye and I will see you and we'll do a little bit of a reduction and do a drawstring bra bag. And really there's no sewing needed, no seams or anything except for just a final sewing to actually make sure it's tight and doesn't come apart at the end. Okay, so we will see you in a bit. Okay, well I've done those rows of owl eye down here. So now next step is I want to reduce this a bit at the bottom. So I've stopped with the working yarn here and this is uh, the last peg. So this is peg one right here. So I want you to take all the even pegs and put them on the odd pegs or a yarn off. So you're going to have to work very carefully and just put the yarn on each peg. I'm at a bad angle and my yarn doesn't stretch at all, but there. So that number two is on top of number one. And then we go to number four to put it on number three. So I actually do it easier with my fingers, I think. <laughs> and then so you'll have two pieces of yarn empty, two pieces of yarn empty, two pieces of yarn empty, two pieces of yarn empty. So this one needs, this one needs to come on this one. So you just find a way that works best for you and at the angle I'm at, and this one works best for me. And just go all around the loom until you have that, that done. Gee, I'm having trouble. I think maybe I got this too big. That's why I can't keep it in. There. 
Okay, so you're just going to keep moving them over. Next one to move over onto this peg is this stitch. You just keep moving them over until you have two loops on every odd peg around the loom. And we will meet back up. Okay, well I have them all done now. So all I'm going to do is knit the bottom loop over the top. Go around the loom and knit the bottom one over the top. shouldn't take very long because I only have 18 pegs. <laughs> How do this was? Okay, so I've done it all now. And now all you're going to do, and you can either use a needle or just your loom hook. And uh, what you're going to do is take your yarn and put it around the loom about one and a half times. And then just cut it. There, get smaller again and just cut it. There we go. Okay, and then we're just going to go back here. And I'm just going to do it with the loom hook, but you can also thread a needle to do this. Okay, so I'm coming out of this one right here. So I'm going to go to the next one, put the hook and pull it through the hook in and pull the yarn through. The hook in and pull the yarn through. And just make sure that we catch every loop inside the yarn. There we go. Okay. So we're making a reduced drawstring here, so there's less bulk at the bottom. But it's going to be tighter than most of them are at the bottom because we're not going to do any more rows in it. We're just going to drawstring it from here. It's like the bottoms of my bags to be a little bit tighter. in the body um, so that nothing falls through or pokes through. <laughs> My blanket got caught in there. <laughs> Okay, and then we're just going to go through the very last loop again to make sure that every loop is on here and connected. And then we can just pop them off the loom. Making sure that this doesn't fall through. <laughs> and you can take your loom hook to do it too. Or you can do it with your fingers, however you like to do it. Depending on the loom you have too, it could be hard to do it with your fingers. There we go. And then all we're going to do is draw string it up. 
and I'm going to go to the other side, inside, to do it. I'm just going to pull the everything through. Huh. There you go, get through. <laughs> there we go. And then I'm going to gently pull this in. Make sure it kind of comes in pretty evenly here. And I'm just going to look at the other side to see what it looks like while I'm holding it. And you can see it's all going in very nicely. And it's just that little bit thinner down here. Okay. So at this point you do need to get a yarn needle and you can cut this shorter now and then we're just going to sew this closed. Okay. So I'm just going to put you on pause while I get a yarn needle. Okay, well I've cut my uh, yarn needle here, or yarn a lot uh, shorter, and I've got my yarn needle. And I'm just going to thread it. That's the theory. There we go. And I'm just going to hold it and just, I'm just going to close it just like it's a hat. Just going to go around it a little bit. Holding it nice and tight. And then I'm going to put my first knot in it, just going under one of the loops. <laughs> that didn't work very good for me. There we go. Huh. Just make sure that this, this loop here doesn't come and it's just the yarn I'm pulling. There we go. I can see it better. And then go through the loop and tighten it. And you're just going to sew it a few times around the bottom and tighten it. So I'll see you after we do that. Okay, so now that I've done that, and I think I still have my needle in here, so <laughs> take it off. And then this will, you just weave that in later. Okay, and then you just take it and now you want to stretch out your stitches. So I'm also going to stretch out the bottom here. This is the bottom of our bag right here. And we're going to stretch the stitches out every way, which is something you should always do. And um, get the handles the way they are, stretch it that way too. And then here we go. So here's our bag, our market bag, and here's our handles for it. And uh, I'm just going to go out a little bit so you can see it better. There we go. So here is the bag. All done. <laughs> Get it in the light. You can see how nice the stitch looks. has lots of stretch, lots of room in it to put all kinds of things in. Okay, and you can do it bigger or smaller, any size you want. So I hope you enjoyed the video, and until next time, bye!